Hi guys, it's Paul from Octane Junkies. Um, doing a quick review of the members' cars. So this is my 2000 MB Mazda uh, 1.8. Has the aftermarket turbo conversion because why not? Why not give it some power? Um, I've owned the car for about four or five months now. The plan originally was to get a track car uh, to replace my current car that I've got in my uh, in my fleet, I suppose. Um, got convinced by Matthew to get a Jap car for Jap Fest and go mad at Silverstone. So the whole point of the car really is to make it into a bit of a track weapon. It's about 70% there. Um, as we go around the car, you can see the the Amazon fins at the back because Amazon's where it's at now. Halfords is declining, unfortunately. Um, going around to the rear, we've got the eBay wing because, again, eBay is where it's at. Um, you can probably see poking through the window the roll cage. If anyone buys one of these, this is a five race roll cage. Really good piece of kit. Um, on the instructions, it says three hours to fit. It took me and Matthew the best part of 18. Didn't come with the hardtop originally, so I pulled the hardtop from another car, uh, painted it black. Quite difficult to do in my eyes since I'm not a painter. Going round, we've got uh, standard calipers on the rear with yellow stuff pads uh, and just a, an upgraded disc. Underneath the car, we've got Monopro uh, coilovers. Uh, carrying on walking around, this is the favourite part of my car. I've got the Wilwoods uh, Midalite calipers with Frodo DS2500 pads. Exceptionally good stopping power. Um, the car was originally purple. Well, it actually wasn't, tell a lie. It was originally gold. Uh, the previous owner spray painted it purple. Didn't do a great job, so me and the guys wrapped it over the course of a weekend. Um, eBay split it down the bottom for aerodynamics and inverted commas. We've got intercooler down the bottom as you can see. And then also finished the car off with the F1 style wing mirrors because the previous wing mirrors had basically fallen off. The car's running about 236 horsepower. Uh, it has a custom top mount made to a GT. 2860 turbo, it's running Bosch 640 injectors, uh, Walbro high pressure fuel pump, Mac boost controller, um, it's got braided lines all the way around, it's got a custom 3 inch exhaust all the way through um, and all this is being managed by an ME211 ECU. I ran at Silverstone uh, which was quite fun as the car went on fire twice. Um, still full send though, obviously, because when you're on track, that's the thing to do. Um, so yeah, for now, this is this is the state of play. I've still got some bucket seats to put in with some harnesses, which will be coming along very soon. But I think the next thing to do is to pop the bonnet to show you what's underneath. Jack quality on the door shut. Under it. It's not pretty, but it's all functional. So as I said, we've got the GT Turbo going to a cone filter, and then big shout out if you want to get this into Mishimoto for supplying the intercooler. That's a radiator. I've just done a mat and called something that's not an intercooler a intercooler where Mac called his what was his blow off valve, his uh, turbo actuator. His turbo actuator. <laughs> <laughs> Put a bit of gold tape on the bonnet just to help with a bit of um, heat resistance really as the bonnet got rather rather warm whilst out on track. Um, so yeah, not pretty but all functional. So is this take two James, yes? Hey, you've ruined it now. No. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Mishimoto for supplying me the radiator. Um, I can't fault this at all, the, the water temps stay dead on centre, even after 20 laps of Silverstone, it was absolutely fine. I uh, want to shout out to the likes of MX5 Parts and Boffy Racing, who have supplied me with a lot of, lot of parts on this car, and gen generally their knowledge is, is being second to none. Before we go, I've got the uh, Jazz Performance brake stopper down here. Um, again, noticeable difference on the braking, no flex. 
from the um, brake cylinder at all now. Really good piece of kit for 50 quid. I can't knock it. So yeah, so this is the MX-5. Not completely there, but does me well. It hasn't broken down yet, fingers crossed. Yeah, so before I wrap up, I just want a big shout out to Squeaky Lees. Um, also, Sneak Teeth Taylor. And you can see the big tuned sticker on the back here. These guys helped me out massively. A uh, big shout out to Richard Tuned for doing the alignment on my car. Feels unbelievable. Um, also, big, big shout out to Riverside Racing, a local garage. By ours who are trusted with all my cars, they absolutely sorted me out before Silverstone. This car had a lot of problems underneath. He took it in, looked after it, and got it all working for me. Uh, so yeah, cheers guys, I'll catch you soon.